Today we're going to be looking at replacing a bottoms up dispenser circuit board. This is the underside view and uh, you can see all these multicolored wires here. This is for a long draw system. These are the empty keg detector wires. Uh, so if you don't see these on your system that's fine. That means you have a short or direct draw system meaning you have a, say, a micromatic keg cooler that your dispenser is either mounted on top or in. And so <clears throat> this tutorial will go for either system. We're just going to be learning on what wires to disconnect and screws to take out and to uh, replace your new circuit board. So starting on the underside here, all you are going to need is a Phillips screwdriver and uh, you can also use a flathead screwdriver. I've got a little small one that works for removing the empty keg detector wires as well as using to disconnect uh, the different uh, three or two prong connections for the underside. So the first thing you want to do is to disconnect the circuit board from any sort of power and that's going to be your long extension here with the little ground on it and there's just an underside you can get with a finger on this three prong connector pops out you just like that and then you are going to take your Phillips screwdriver and you can just back that guy out okay be sure not to lose the screw that screw is what we call our, our bezel screw because we have this bezel bracket right here that actually holds the circuit board in place. So we're going to disconnect the empty keg detector wires next. If you have a long dry system, this is where you'll be headed. Now just make note of where the wires are placed. There are two different entry points for the wires and you can see, my light will let me hear, there's a brown Okay, on the right side, and then you've actually got three wires going on to the left side, uh, two green, and one of the green is spiraled around a white. To just make connection, I always take photos of stuff so I can remember where things go. And to do that, you're just going to take a little flathead on the underside, and just back out the screw on that. That should loosen them up nicely. You see that it got some uh, exposed wire there. That's what we use to help clump them in tightly. There we go. And so those are out of the way. And we've also got uh, this jumper here. Uh, this is, helps this is jumping from one circuit board to the next. Uh, this is the yellow, black, and red connection. Uh, again, you can just use your finger on that connector and just pop it out. Alright, so now we're going to look at the five connections here in the back. Uh, we've got the connector for the solenoid for the valve on um, this blue block here. This is what makes that valve open and close. We have the blue and red. Let's see if you can see those marked connectors there. Uh, that's for our flow guide and for our cup sensor and then in the middle we've got two sets of black and white wires and those are our LED connections. Um, two, two wires going into it, it's black, this is for our solenoid, this is what activates the valve opening and closing and I just take the little flathead just to get that connection popped out there and got it. That's simple. Um, again, also it's good to take a photo of where all the connections go just if you need. On the underside of the circuit board we also have blue and red dots for uh, where these guys will go. So the next one is the blue connection. There go. So the next two are sets of black and white wires and these are for the LED lights that are on either side of your valve. There go. And there's 
the other one. And we have just one final one. It's just this red marked wire there. These guys are wicked in the way. Okay, so now you'll be able to see that there are no other connections on the underside of our circuit board. So we can take out this last bezel screw. Pops down. Again, don't lose your screws. So now you can see that our circuit board is free to be removed. So just set your new circuit board in there and it's easier to keep one hand up on the top and we're just going to work our way back and get these connections in. So you find them here. So <laughs> the red, it's got red tape on it there, it's going to go in the far right of the red dot and then we're going to put in our LEDs you can hear them click in place there maybe okay and the next is the blue wire so that's our cup sensor. And then finally, back here is our solenoid. All right, so those are good. Now we can attach our jumper cable back in. And before we add in the power and our EKDs, we're going to go ahead and get our bezel screws and our bezel bracket here put back in. All right, so now we're gonna take our bezel bracket and bezel screw with a Phillips screwdriver. And we're gonna get one side mounted on. Be sure to kind of slide it over once you got the screw seated a little. That way it won't fall back out. Let's do it. And before you put the second bezel screw in, we need to attach the ground for our dispenser power, which is that little guy right here. Seat that up. that nice and snug and go ahead and get your other screw in there nice and snug too. So you can just kind of reach over the top of the circuit board and just kind of feel if it's loose at all. And that's feeling pretty snug to me. So now we can plug our dispenser power back in and you're good to go. If you just have a short draw or direct draw system running the Micromatic keg cooler, um, if you have a long draw system, meaning you're running from a separate keg room into your bar up front, you still need to replace our empty keg detector wires right here. So to replace the empty keg detector wires, uh, refer to your photo if you need to. We've got this brown wire here, and that's going to go in the housing on the right side. Nice and snug. You can always just check to make sure nothing's coming out there. It feels pretty snug to me. And then we've got 
the green white and the green all three of those are going to go together on the left side it's a little trick here trying to fit all three in but i think we can do it feel good all right so all the connections are back in bezel screws are nice and secure and bezel bracket grounds on plugged in and good to go nothing feels loose that's how you swap out a circuit board